don't let a guy named Ollie McBurney score. Sounds like a Sesame Street character. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Casual Fan YouTube channel. Before we get in the video, why don't you just go down there, hit the like button, give me a subscribe, because that would be pretty cool. And I spit in the face of people who don't want to be cool. What's going on, boys? Today, it's a great day, but it's a sad day. We are back, back with the videos on the Casual Fan YouTube channel, but it's also a sad day because we've heard that today has been the passing of a Man United legend, probably the biggest Man United legend there is, Sir Bobby Charlton. What an amazing life that man lived, and it would be just brilliant if we could honor his life today with a win, with three points. Bet I got for this game? You already know me. I love my under three and a half bets. It was a double under three and a half in the Brentford Burnley game. That game's already finished. 3 0 the Brentford Burnley. Absolutely shocking. I was I was anticipating them being a lot better. Uh, at the start of the season, but they have, they've been pretty shocking. And we got under three and a half in this game. My prediction for this game, I feel like it's going to be a comfortable 2-0 win for United, but there's no reason we should be conceding Sheffield United. I know we got a back line of Johnny Evans, Maguire, and, and Lindelof at left back. Still, Sheffield United got no threats. We should be winning this pretty comfortable. McTominay! Come on! He's on fire! absolute fire get in there come on man one nil to united that's a huge goal his finishing has been on point i honestly think you could play mctominay as a center forward three goals in two games say whatever you want about the man he deserves a starting spot right now uh oh here comes brentford Ooh, good block mcguire could you imagine if we conceded right after we scored i call that typical this season as far as my bets concerned i, I want us to score another goal but like Maybe save it to the second half, and for the love of God, don't concede. I think as long as we don't concede, I'm chilling. No handballs. No handballs. He's given a penalty. Oh, my goodness. And it was McTominay. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievably unfortunate. And, of course, man, it's typical. I knew it. Oh. It's a handball. It's a handball. It's an instinctual handball, man. Oh my goodness, this is so not good. Not good for not good for the game. Not good for my bet. All right, Onana, come on, show your worth. Don't let a guy named Ollie McBurney score. Sounds like a Sesame Street character. McBurney. Oh, that was a good pen. One one. Ah oh, man. What are we doing? Like, what are we doing? We can't keep focus, man. Just can't do it. Too much power on that penalty. Goes the right way, but it's never being saved. Oh, here we go. Punish him. Punish him. Punish him, Hoyland. Oh my goodness, that was such a good opportunity. Wasted. We just got given a gift by the keeper. Hoyland just shoots way too early, man. We're just not lethal in front of goal. And I like Holland. I think, or not Holland, Hoyland. And I think he's going to be a good player. But like... It's just been our problem. It's been our problem basically since Ronaldo left. We can't finish in front of goal. Like, if Rashford's not going through a hot patch, we got nobody. I think when Hoyland gets adjusted, he's going to be he's gonna be that guy who's going to bang in. Like I think he could be a 20-goal-a-season striker, Hoyland. I really like him. And he's still incredibly young. Honestly, I think Hoyland's probably the only signing that we've made this season that is actually good. No, oh, come on. Well done, Anthony. Well done to win the ball back. Finds Bruno. Is he going to shoot one more to Rashford? Easy goal. Oh, how has that just gone wide? We get the opportunities. We just cannot score. We're rolling into the 60th minute now. we got 30 minutes to put this ball in the back of the net. Very well done from Anthony to win the ball back high up the field. Unselfish from Bruno. you got to put that on target, Rash. Come on. You're better than that. All right, Martial, Erickson, and Garnacho coming in. We need a change. We need to get a goal here. If we don't win... I mean, like, even if we do win, what are the actual goals for this season? Because we're clearly not winning the league. I would say at this point, it's not even looking great that we're even going to get top four. But we got to get through this game, and then we got a massive Champions League game that we need three points from as well. Because if we don't get three points from that game, we're probably done. Because the way we've been playing, I'm not going to back us to be, do anything against Bayern. And, like, you got to beat Copenhagen. Like, there's no way you, like, that's, that's going to be some Besikshir or whatever that Istanbul team's name is. That's going to be the vibe if we don't win that game. Oh my lord, what a strike from Amrabat right off the bar. Martial, turn, shoot, turn, shoot. Lays it off to nobody, man. Come on. I felt like Martial could have easily spun that guy and shot. Oh! 
What a screamer! What a screamer! Diogo Dalo, ice in the veins. Holy shit, what a strike. I was just about to call him out for being, like, incredibly poor this whole season, too. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think it was going to come. I thought it was going to be one of those games. 76th minute. Please just let that be the final result because I want to win this bet still. Look at that. Opens up. Boom. Top right corner. Keeper, no chance. Seven. If I see something disgusting, we've still got, still got 13 minutes till extra time. But if extra time comes up and I see anything more than five minutes, I'm going to puke. Because when I take these under three and a half bets, that, that seems to be what always screws me. Like, it, it actually tears my soul when three goals have gone in and the ref puts up, like, 10 minutes extra time at the end of the game and then they score the fourth goal in, like, the 98th minute and then I just want to pull my eyes out. Oh, here we go. Here it goes. Criminal giveaway. Oh, Garnacho, he's going to score. Break my heart. And he missed an absolute glorious opportunity. Was he off offside anyway? I can't believe he's just missed that. He was offside anyway. My heart was in my hands there for a second. Holy. Oh my goodness. Four minutes. Just don't break my heart, please. Just like let it just end like this. This is literally perfect. There we go. Holy. That was a sweat. Great way to come back. First video back. Three points to United. W bet. Can't ask for anything more than that. It's absolutely brilliant. Honestly, not the best performance from United. I felt like we were in control for most of the game, but we got to be more clinical in front, of, in front of the goal. Man of the match for us, I don't really know. Like, nobody even really stood out. Like, our best player was average. I, I might honestly give it to Harry Maguire. You got to give the man respect where it's due. There's a couple shaky moments with him, but I feel like he was solid for the most part. But a wonder strike from Dalo gets us the three points. I'm happy with that. Anyway, boys, that's it from me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do want to keep up with what I'm doing, make sure you go follow me on my Insta. You can follow me on TikTok as well. I will also, I'm also going to be streaming now on Kick, So I'll leave the link of uh, my Kick in the description. That's where I'm going to be doing all my FIFA streams now. I'll probably have watch alongs there as well. So make sure you go check that out. Give me a follow on there and we'll get that going. Anyway, guys, enjoy the win and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.